Hope I don't run into a Zubat. What's up Montreal, Patrick here. Today we will be exploring a cave in St. Leonard. Who would have known that Montreal has its own cave? Hey guys, so we are in the cave right now and what's really fascinating is that the rocks that are surrounding me right now are three times older than dinosaurs. Pretty impressive. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little insight on how this cave came to be. This place was created by the formation of the melting of the glaciers, which these glaciers were on top of Quebec 10,000 years ago, and their height was 10 kilometers high. That's, that's, that's a big glacier. So this all came to be when the glaciers started to melt and it came to contact with the soil itself. And what's even more interesting is that the rocks separated from each other, creating the symmetrical walls, which kind of means if you stick them together, they will perfectly fit into each other. Another cool fact about this cave is that you will find a lot of fossils and leaves that are embedded in the rocks showing this cave's history and evidences of what used to live here. And if you are trying to figure out how old this cave is, all you have to do is to calculate the number of centimeters that are on the stagnated columns as each centimeter represents a thousand years. And now you know how old this cave is. Simple math. So we're going in one of the paths in the cave and this is uh, this is a very narrow, narrow path, so we're gonna go as much as we can to, uh, to view the cave itself. But it is as far as I can go because it gets very, very narrow and it's very, very small, but um, totally worth coming if you wanna definitely get closer to the cave itself. And at some point, there's no point of going because this, this passage actually is a dead end, but it's still fascinating to be able, like I said, to be closer to the rocks and be able to see how it's been formed over the years. A great tip to know is that the cave is very, very slippery, so you have to be very careful in where you're walking and have the proper footwear because you don't want to be, you don't want to have any accidents coming in here. So we go deeper and deeper in the cave, and it gets, it's getting much more smaller and narrower. And we're gonna go down that ladder right now to visit the rest of the cave. So I'll see you downstairs. Now we go the ladder. This is really feels like I expected. Visiting a cave and <laughs> exploring it. Oh, I'm already at the first level. Interesting is that usually I'm not a very outdoor secure person, but being in this cave is motivating me to really put my physical strength and try things I would never try in my usual life. And uh, I think it's pretty much the drive of discovering more about this cave. And, seeing what else I'm going to discover down here. So once you get to this part of the cave, the tour guide asks the visitors to close all sources of light and to see if uh, someone's eye can adjust in total darkness. And the answer is no, because when there's no source of light, your eyes cannot adapt to anything, there's nothing to attach. Now we're at the physical part of our exploration. We have to climb back up without using a ladder. And this is the true experience of being a cave explorer. So. I'll turn you guys upstairs. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. You have to like really use your whole body to to do this movement. <sighs> it's some some workout, to be honest. Totally worth it. But if you are not as physically capable as I am, then you might as well <laughs> use the ladder to come back up. But for all you adventurers. Took the right way. Without visiting the bottom of the cave, it's the last narrow path to the end using these ropes to see the end formation of the cave that's visible to us. And uh, yeah, this pretty much concludes the tour of the San Leonard Cave. So, this concludes our tour of the San Leonard Cave. If you want to check it out, have to come to the borough of St. Leonard. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Montreal adventures. <laughs>